Hi guys, I'm back again for the weekly oracle reading. For those of you who are just tuning in, welcome, I'm Anne. And in this video, I'm going to be giving a general love reading focusing on divine counterparts, that's soulmates, twin flames, twin rays, past life connections, and anybody that you are connected to romantically, please stay tuned and watch. I'm sure there's a message for you. And if you would like to get your own personalized reading, I do offer phone chat and email readings, and the links are down below in the description area. Um, so um, these readings are basically messages. Um, so take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Okay. Um, so we are now in the holiday season. Um, it's Thanksgiving for us up in the um, in the United States. And if you celebrate, I just want to say happy Thanksgiving. And if you don't celebrate, I just want to say I love you guys all. And you know, I give gratitude for you just being here with me um, because it's a positive energy exchange. That's what Thanksgiving is basically about. It doesn't have to be a specific holiday. It should be 365 days of the year giving gratitude. I always give gratitude. It's, it's a positive thing to do. And you know, I encourage it for everybody. Okay. So I've divided the cards, divine masculine, divine feminine. Basically they're both, um, for the general, um, collective, um, a soul connection collective. So it's not necessarily meaning that it's, um, one gender versus the other. You really lean sometimes towards both love yourself, divine masculine energies. Love yourself because it's important, especially during this time of the year. You know, we all get caught up with, you know, the holiday season and, you know, what is going on and, you know, what's on sale and where are we going to be doing, what are we going to be doing and where are we going? And you know what? A lot of times it's, you know, like, why is that person not, you know, there for me or why am I not with that person? And you know what? This is something that you're neglecting yourself. Yeah. You know who? You. You're neglecting yourself because... You don't need somebody to love yourself, you know, because a lot of times people get codependent on other people. And you know what? That's where divine masculine is, you know, starting to get, you know, like kind of like feeling uneasy about everything because they haven't been loving themselves. And loving yourself is really important during this time as we come in now to 2022 and we have to learn to love ourselves. I know it's like it's weird to say that the farther gate, bold step forward now divine masculine it's time to take that step forward it's a bold step you know when you love yourself you can take that step forward you can make that change you can make that transition because it's never going to happen unless you make it happen otherwise you're always going to feel like you're getting the bad end of the stick um and that's honey <laughs> okay so you need to just do this for yourself it's time to you know put that step forward take a leap of faith you know, whatever that is, sometimes it may not be exactly what you want. It may take you out of your comfort zone. You're like, okay, am I supposed to do this? Yes, it's time for you to do this. Manifest. Manifesting your dreams, manifesting whatever it is that you want. Let me just show you a little honey there. Honey, 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 honey. See, that's a little honey. Okay. <laughs> um, a manifest is, is a very important um, subject that we do when we want something, when we want something to happen, you know, a lot of people say, how do I do this? I mean, there's a lot of courses out there, how to manifest. It's just one thing what you're doing. It's basically believing in what you, what you want. You know, it's plain and simple. It's been around for like ages. Yeah. It's just, it has a name to it. You know, I want something so bad. If you want something so bad and you really, really want it with all your heart, you manifest it and you allow it to happen. You know, sometimes it's not on your timing, you know, like, oh, do I make a magic trick and make it happen? No, if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. Well, then it counteracts. How does that work? It's basically what you're feeling in your heart. I've seen people do it. Things that seem impossible because you don't believe enough, you know, give it to God, give it to the universe, give it to, you know, your, yourself, you, you know, you owe it to yourself to try, you know, you have to manifest the wailing tree reconcile reconciliations. Now, this means one thing, coming together in a lot of ways. Could it be reconciling with somebody? Absolutely. Could it be reconciling with um, just yourself, your individuality, or you're starting to feel more like yourself, more complete? It's, it's what is being given to you. So this looks like this is a, a good time to start preparing and start working on yourself, start doing the things that you need to do because 
you're never going to manifest if you're always feeling like you can't do it. So don't give up, basically. Work on yourself. Work on what you need to do. Love yourself. Take that step forward. Divine feminines, allow love. When you allow the love, you're allowing the light to shine through inside of you. And when you allow love, everybody can see it. Yeah. And you know, when everybody sees it, they're like, I want to be like that person or I want what they have because that's how it works because the grass is always greener on the other side. But I'm not saying to make people look at you to, you know, to get, you know, envious of you, but this is an automatic. This is what the way we live. When you shine that light, it's contagious and other people can see it. You know, you can see love all around you. You're actually putting out love so that it can be contagious. Did you ever see somebody who is very negative, you know, and they're very down? You end up feeling down. You end up feeling negative. You could be so positive. You go into work and then you have a couple of coworkers that are just downgrading everything and very negative. You come home and feel like you have so much stress and anxiety and negativity. I know I, I, go, I go through it. You have to clear that. You have to not take that with you. Don't take that home with you. Because if you take that home with you, you're going to have it in your life. And nothing, nothing is wrong. I, I go through it myself. But this is when you have to focus on, you know, the light inside of you. And it could be what your even with your family members. You know, that's the thing. In the hand, the universe is your partner. And the universe is your partner. You know, God is on your side. God is on your side. God is working with you. You have to allow love to flow through inside of you so that you can feel that love come through. If you don't feel the love, you're never going to evolve spiritually. You're never going to evolve in the way you want. Learn to relax. Release. What? How? What do I do? You know, I hear that all the time from people. And you know what? I can't tell a person what to do. You know, it's like, now what am I supposed to do? What am I doing wrong? How do I relax? Because I can't meditate and I can't like do what you do and what everybody else says. You know, like that's like, okay, so then why are you asking me? You know, like this is what I'm saying. I'm not saying anybody particular, but you have to know if you can sleep and a lot of us have rough sleeping patterns, but you basically do know how to sleep. You can relax, you know, just take a breather, put on some soft music, go outside, you know, go for a good walk, tire, tire yourself out, whatever that is, you can relax. Divine feminines need to take a break from putting all that pressure on themselves and stressing out about things because it's not, it's not your, your problem. And it's just kissy over here. She just wants to say hi. Um, sky bridge possibilities for union possibility for union. I was reading it upside down. That's interesting. We got reconciliation across and divine masculine, divine feminine. So that looks like um, Sky Bridge is telling us that there is a union happening or going to happen. So be prepared for it. You know, you have to be prepared for that union. Um, however it comes, however it happens, you know, if you're getting back together with someone or if you're connecting with someone again in a, in a higher level, in a deeper way, whatever the case is, you need to clear the clutter or clear the energy balance inside of you before you can do so with self-love, um, allowing the love to flow through, relax, don't put too much on yourself. And you know what? Don't blame everybody. Don't, don't blame things when they don't go right. Don't blame everybody because it didn't go right. You know, take that step of like the faith and do it, do what you need to do. What is in your heart. Okay. So I hope that this video resonated with you. There was a lot of a lot of deep messages came through from me and I hope they came through from you. If not, if it doesn't resonate with you, like uh, maybe we watched a video that happens. Also, if you'd like to get your own reading, your own personalized reading, um, I do offer phone chat and email readings and the links are down below in the description area. Um, sometimes I've been a little bit, you know, like not, not that I'm too busy for you guys, but sometimes I don't see the emails right away because I've been like, I've been a little busier lately because of the holiday coming up and um yeah so just be patient with me and if you don't hear from me in the time that you know like it says on my website then please email me um text me whatever um and i will get to your um reading as soon as possible okay so i just want to wish you guys all a happy happy thanksgiving god bless you all stay safe and you know just just be yourself just do do what you can with love and light to everyone around you okay so until next time god bless you all namaste